Welcome back to part two of my mini series on differential equations, where we're looking at the basics of solving differential equations. I urge you to go back and watch the first video if you haven't before, just to make sure you have the prior understanding. We start today by looking at a slightly more complicated linear first order differential equation. So don't worry, you'll understand the methods and how to solve them by the end of this video. So let's look at this equation. This is actually an inhomogeneous linear first order differential equation which sounds a lot more complicated than it actually is. To solve an equation like this, we need to first establish what is called an integrating factor. To do this, we look at this p of x function, which is just the coefficient of y. If we then integrate this and make it the power of e, we'll have our integrating factor. Then to solve an equation like this, what we do is we multiply the whole thing by our integrating factor. This causes something really smart to occur in our equation, and once we've done it, you'll see why. So let's bring back our equation and see how we can apply this. We just noticed that our p of x function is simply just 2 over x. Therefore, to find your integrating factor, we need to exponentiate the integral of 2 over x in terms of x, which as you can see, just reduces down to x squared. Now, just as we did before, all we need to do now is multiply our whole equation by x squared. Hence, just giving us this expression where we can see that we can start to cancel down some of our terms ultimately leaving us with x squared times dy over dx plus 2yx equals e to the x. Now this is where the smart element comes in. We can just see on the left hand side we've actually got a backwards application of the product rule. So if we just rewrite this as d over dx of x squared times y, we'll just have a much easier expression to solve as we can integrate both sides in terms of x, which will just cancel out that dx and we're just left with this where we know if we integrate this, we're just left with e of x itself. Ultimately, now dividing both sides by x squared, we have our final solution. This actually solves our original differential equation, and it actually isn't that complicated. Now we move on to the next type of differential equation in this video. We're going to look at homogeneous linear second order differential equations, which again, sound a lot more complicated than they actually are. We're going to solve this by using something called the auxiliary equation method. These second order differential equations are actually some of the easiest to solve, as we know that the solution is always going to be in the form of y equals e to the lambda x, where lambda is just a constant. So now if we just take the differential of this, and then also the second differential of this, we can see that we've now got expressions that we can substitute back into our original equation. So let's do just that. Let's substitute these values back into the original equation and see what we find. Well, as you can see here, we've actually now got a quadratic in terms of lambda. And as well as this, we can actually divide both sides by e to the lambda x, as e to the lambda x can never be zero, so it won't be a solution. Therefore, we're just leaving us with this simple quadratic, which we could either use the quadratic formula for, or we could just factorise, giving us lambda minus 3 times lambda minus 2 equals zero. Hence, we have the solutions that lambda equals 3 or lambda equals 2. Now, just recall that y equals e to the lambda x. So therefore, if we substitute both our lambda values in, we'll have two solutions. Hence, we just have that y1 equals e to the 3x and y2 equals e to the 2x. Now we give this in the form of our general solution, where we just add the two elements together. As we put this into the general form, we put constants before our terms, just in case we have any initial conditions. If we did have any initial conditions, this would become an initial value problem or a boundary value problem, but we'll cover these in a later video. Therefore, our general solution is just that y equals a e to the 3x plus b e to the 2x, where a and b are just constants. So that's us for this instalment of this series. So we've looked at linear first order differential equations and also linear second order differential equations. Thank you for joining me for today. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. Thanks.